I realized that so often the things that we might just love in our life are directly on the other side of a very uncomfortable decision. You could hear a pin drop in our gym when he was talking. And it was in April of 2017 when I was seated in his World Issues class. It was a very ordinary day, but he was not discussing any ordinary topic. Instead, he was speaking about figures in history who have massively changed our world. And then he challenged us, all the students, to try and figure out what was it among those group of people that enabled them to make a massive difference. And he stood up, he walked into the middle of the classroom, looked at me right in my eyes, and said three words that totally changed my life small, consistent actions. He was super captivating. All eyes were on him throughout his presentation and the students were very engaged. And you kind of just can tell when people are actually taking in the message instead of just listening to it, they were understanding it. And that's what matters the most. I took my teacher's theory and I put it to the ultimate test. Every single day walking home from school, I would bring a bag and fill it with garbage on my way home. We made the decision to come up with this group. This group that would go outside every Saturday morning for one hour once a week in the community and just pick up trash to see if my teacher's theory was correct. Filling over 1,100 bags of trash and litter in our community alone. We picked up over 20, thank you. I had a little intro meeting with him and I was like, you're awesome, we need you all day. So it went from a 60 minute scheduled time to a full eight hour uh, booking and he, beyond expectations uh, blew everyone's mind. Fast forward one month, I ended up getting the results from my MRI and it turned out I had torn the meniscus in my left knee. I felt absolutely defeated, mentally and physically, because I just missed the opportunity I had been training for so emphatically. Do not feel the need to attach your self-worth to the things you do, because like myself, if you ever lose the ability to do those things, you all of a sudden feel like you lose a piece of yourself. And it's totally not true. He was very dynamic and very passionate. He was able to keep kids' attention. You know how hard it is to get young people's attention for long. And I was like, no, 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 no. Insinume. Teach me. And this little girl went, oh my god. <laughs> she grabbed my hands, brought me into the middle of the dance floor, and taught me the four basic steps to this dance called the bachata. Sam is such a fluid, natural, gifted speaker, and just so genuine. If you want to book a youth speaker, if you want to book a speaker, book Sam Dema. I would definitely have Sam back in my building, and I have recommended him to my colleagues as well, because he's just such a passionate, such a dedicated young man. I recommend him to any organization, especially young people. Uh, he has an innate ability to motivate and energize. But if you take away one thing from this presentation, it might just change your life the same way that it changed mine. If you want to make a difference, if you want to make an impact, create a better future for yourself or the people around you, all you need to do is take a small, consistent action. You can create a better future for yourself and start making that ripple, that difference in the world that you are envisioning.